Greetings, I'm Dr. Steve DeLisi, a psychiatrist and addiction medicine physician, and one of the co-associate directors for the UC Irvine School of Medicine, TNT Primary Care Training and Education in Addiction Medicine Fellowship Program. I'm also the Chief Medical Officer for Your Path in St. Paul, Minnesota. And I'm coming today as part of Mental Health Awareness Month to talk about an important topic. That topic is sleep. We all do it, and we all do a lot of it. But for many of us, getting a good night's sleep on a regular daily basis is a struggle. As adults, we need about seven to nine hours of sleep per night, and teenagers need about eight to 10 hours. The American Academy of Sleep Medicine has demonstrated that there's approximately a third of us who are not getting that sufficient level of sleep. And a good 10% of us have chronic insomnia, the inability to initiate or maintain a good restorative sleep. Why is this an important topic as part of Mental Health Awareness Week? Because good sleep improves our day-to-day -day functioning and our mental health and well-being. Our energy level, our focus, our attention, our memory are all impacted by how well we sleep the night before. And insomnia is an independent risk factor for the development of anxiety and depression. And that relationship, it goes both ways. When we suffer from depression and anxiety, we often struggle with insomnia at the same time. Now, what can we do to improve sleep? Well, for any of you who have been parents, you know the importance of that bedtime ritual and sticking to it. That doesn't change as we get older. As adults, setting a regular bedtime and wake-up time is critically important, as is limiting our caffeine intake and alcohol intake and reducing the level of stimulation that we're getting in the, in the evenings, reducing the amount of time we're on our cell phones, tablets, computers, and the television. That all helps. Relaxation and meditation can also be extremely helpful. But what if you're struggling? You're doing all of that and you continue to struggle with sleep, but you don't want to take a sleeping pill. Well, one of the most effective evidence-based treatments for insomnia is cognitive behavioral therapy. It works really well. So if you find that you're struggling with sleep, and as you go through mental health awareness, you have more awareness of how much that sleep difficulty is impacting your life, reach out to your health professional. There are evidence-based treatments, and they really can help. So as part of Mental Health Awareness Week, I wish you all a wonderful night's sleep tonight. Thank you.